but mandatory if you live in such a house you must be coming to church amen once it is time for service all road leads to church failure to be in church you are ejected from the house quick notice 24 hours no rent tribunal will deliver you <laughs> praise God so if you look at it from the scriptural point of view the earth was super supportive to man because the man's, man's body earth jacket was taken from the earth and he need an earth friendly atmosphere to be able to enjoy life so the earth was alive come on believer I said the earth was what? The earth was fully alive in the days of Adam of Eden. The earth was fully alive. That is, if it touches the earth, it bounces back to its place. If you match the earth, it bounces back. It refills itself. And the earth was responding at the frequency of command. Not the, pre the frequency of work. No. No. It was the frequency of instruction. Adam simply stood as king and demands that certain things should be put in place. I want to prophesy quickly before I continue. You are entering a season and God wants you to be there. And that is where we are. Where you simply speak and things are done. Can you put on the screen for me Proverbs chapter 18 and give me verse 20 and verse 21. Very quickly, Proverbs 18 verse 20. He said, a man's belly, come on say a man's belly, shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. Now that is jubilee. God didn't walk the earth, he spoke to the earth to produce. Now God wants you to begin to speak. Many of you don't know that, that the business of talking is the greatest business on earth. If the whole universe came out of utterance, and it is being sustained by what God said. There is no business that can be greater and higher than talking. Those who know how to use their mouth well, they live well. Those who don't know how to talk well, we keep on suffering. One of the greatest lessons you must learn if you are going to enjoy life is how to use this your mouth well. If you don't know how to talk, you will never grow tall in life. You remain Zacchaeus. So one of the greatest help God will give you is help of ordering your tongue aright. Because your destiny is tied to the quality of words that comes out of your mouth. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. What does that mean? The better you are at talking, the better your living gets. The quality of your living appreciates to the extent to which the quality of your speaking increases. This is why you must every day learn how to talk. One preacher said every day he's busy reading dictionary. He's after reading his Bible and doing his morning devotion. He picked dictionary and started reading. They ask him why. He said, I'm learning how to speak. He said, I'm not an English boy. And since English has become a lingua franca, I must learn because I'm communicating most times in English. So he has to learn. That's part of it. Better still, when you spend time in the word, the word of God, by which you were created, by which the whole universe is sustained, you are learning how to talk because you are learning how to talk like the one who made the earth and sustained the earth and the universe by the power of his word. So spending time in God's word is a time done to help yourself, to build yourself, to increase your value, to increase your worth before God and before creation. Nobody can be better than the quality of revelation and knowledge that he or she has acquired from the book. Your life can be richer than the quality of revelation that you have imparted your life with. Now, as much as prayer is good, now I believe in prayer and I pray a lot, but I do believe that the quality time you spend in the word is better for you than the time you spend babbling and shouting and screaming at God. If 
your prayer will ever make sense to God, it is prayer that is inf informed, inspired by sound doctrine. Teachings from the world. That is why before you open your mouth to make sense to God, open your ear first and hear him. And download sound information from his word. That way when you are talking, God will listen to you. Otherwise, there are many people that are talking to God and God is not listening. Their prayers are abomination to him because they are quarreling at God. They are throwing words at God. And God doesn't want to listen to you. Excuse me. I said God doesn't want to. No, he's not, he's not interested in listening to you. He wants to hear himself in you. When you open your mouth, what God wants to hear is his word. He wants to listen to himself, making sense to himself. That's why he said, put me to remembrance. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. So prayer is a justifying exercise. Something you do to deliver yourself. An end has come to your pain. Come on, I said an end has come to your pain. Now very quickly because of time. My capital prayer and job in delivering this message is for people to live in the realm of Jubilee. To live where? Living in the realm of Jubilee, which is the realm of infinite intelligence, the realm of infinite glory. That's my greatest passion. And I want to plead with you to pay attention in the next few minutes. I will not be long, but I want you to understand some dynamics because I want to share with you some very simple principles from the book. And like I've said the other time, principles are higher and greater and stronger than principalities. It doesn't matter the kind of principalities are raised against you. Once you operate by principles, principalities bow at your feet. Listen to me. Evil will always bow before the good. And the wicked are the gate of the righteous. That is what principle is all about. It doesn't matter who is ganking up against you. Form an alliance with the principles of the word of God. And you will persecute principalities. Reduce them to nonsensical nonsense and be winning the battles of life irrespective of the gang ups against your life. Do I have people that are listening to what I'm saying? Your story will never remain the same again this year. This year shall be the best of your years. Excuse me, we couldn't have waited upon God for 50 days and then this year will not produce. God punish the devil. This year we produce maximally. It shall be the best of your years. Having dedicated 50 days unto God, hear the word of the Lord. You will reap the dividend. You will reap the harvest of blessings. As a matter of fact, let me come very quickly. The month of March is harvest of miracles. Somebody say, I take it, I take it, I take it. I, I take it, I take it. Now, hear this. Every realm of God is accessible by faith everywhere and without faith it is impossible to access anything of value from God now it isn't that many of us don't have faith for after all the Bible said God has dealt to everyone a measure of faith so every human being has what Everybody has faith, whether you believe in God with it or not. What you do.